So suppose you have a triangle here, and this is the circumcircle of the triangle. We're going to choose a random point on the circumcircle, in this case here, and we're going to drop perpendiculars from this point to each of the sides of the triangle. And as you can see, this perpendicular actually falls outside of the side of the triangle, but on the same line, of course. We're going to prove that these three points, the feet of the altitudes, lie on the same line. And this line is called the Simpson line for this triangle and this point. Now, let's see why this dashed blue line exists. Notice that we have a couple of cyclic quadrilaterals here. For example, this one is cyclic, because this angle is 90 degrees, and this angle is 90 degrees, and their sum is 180 degrees. Or, this one, for example, is also cyclic, because this one, this angle is 90 degrees, which is equal to this angle, also 90 degrees. And there's actually one more quadrilateral that is cyclic, this one here. I'm taking this point, the altitude, and this point, the other altitude. And because this angle is 90 plus this angle, 90 equals 180, we have another cyclic quadrilateral. So I've drawn some angles here. Let's see what they are. First, I've taken this angle here to be alpha, and I used that this quadrilateral here is cyclic to prove that this angle here is also alpha. So this angle equals this angle. Then, this is the complementary angle, so it's 180 minus alpha, so they complement each other to 180 degrees. And then, you see this circle that I've drawn here? We have that this quadrilateral is cyclic, because it's inscribed in the circle that you see on the screen, and so the sum of this angle and this angle is 180 degrees, and since this is 180 minus alpha, this should be alpha. And finally, let's look at this quadrilateral here. It is cyclic, and this angle is alpha. And therefore, this angle here is 180 minus alpha. But wait, this angle is alpha, and this angle is 180 minus alpha. So their sum is 180 degrees, which means that this segment and this segment actually share a line. They lie on the same line because 180 degrees is the angle of the straight line. And hence, we're done. We've proven the Simpson line for this triangle and this point. The optional problem is actually called the generalized Simpson line for a triangle. Suppose you have a triangle, and as before, we take a point on its circumcircle, just a random point. But then, instead of taking the perpendiculars, we choose an angle, for example, this angle, and we choose a point on this side, such that this angle equals the one we've chosen, and then we choose a point on this side, such that this angle is the same one as we've chosen. And then we choose a point on this side, for example this point, such that this angle is again the one we've chosen. So this angle equals this angle equals this angle. And now we need to prove that these three points lie on a straight line. Note that you should be really careful in how you're making this construction. Because for example, when you're taking this point on this line, you might be tempted to put it somewhere here and take this angle to be equal to, to this angle, but that's not how you should draw it. You should draw it like this, like I've drawn it here. And here's the solution. Take this angle here and call it alpha. Then this angle here would be 180 minus alpha. Do you see why? Well, because this quadrilateral is cyclic. We have that this angle equals this angle, and so the quadrilateral is cyclic. And so this angle plus this angle must equal 180 degrees. So we have that this is 180 minus alpha, and then this is a cyclic quadrilateral, because it's inscribed in this circle that I've drawn, and so this angle plus this angle is 180 degrees, and so this angle here is alpha. And so its complementary angle here is 180 minus alpha. Now notice that this quadrilateral here is also cyclic, because if this angle is beta, then this angle is 180 minus beta, and this is beta, so the sum of this angle and this angle is 180 degrees, so this is a cyclic quadrilateral. And therefore, this angle, because it's 180 minus alpha, then this angle here would be also 180 minus alpha. And see what we've got here. An angle alpha, and an angle 180 minus alpha. And these are complementary angles. They complement each other to 180 degrees. And so, this segment and this segment lie on the same line, because 180 degrees makes a straight line. And that's how we proved the generalized Simpson line.